Hello guys, in the last video we have seen like how to copy the data from a SQL database to the um, another SQL database table. Now we are going to do the modification over there also only. Now suppose we have created one data flow on which we have one table which is the SQL database and we have done some of the transformation and we have saved into another database. Now let's make it a little bit uh, complex. Now suppose there is one requirement which on which they wanted to see as a in a CSV file. They wanted to see the data and they wanted to store it as in CSV file. So then how actually we will do and how actually we are going to modify that. That is the thing we are going to see. So this is the flow we have already seen. So what actually we have done into this uh, data flow. We have a table and after that what we have done we have created a derived column on which uh, we have converted uh, some of the modified date column which was in uh, date timestamp we have converted into a date format and finally we have in the final table we have saved it okay so that is how actually it was working now what actually we are going to do okay once it is done when the sync is done what we are going to do, we have one more requirement on which they wanted to see as in uh, they wanted to see that is in uh, CSV format also. So what we are going to do, if you can see here the plus column is there, just click on that. Okay. We are going to create another sync. Okay. So in this thing what we are going to do, we are going to create a new data set and that will be our blob storage, okay. And now here we are going to set a delimited text. Click on the continue. We are going to create a new data service. Select the Azure subscription. Select the storage account which we have created. Let's see the test connection. Okay. Now our link service is now ready. We are going to select the path we actually wanted to save it. So we are going to save into our raw this table in this folder. Click on the OK. Okay, now let's do one thing. Now, if you can see data is there, we are going to truncate the data. Okay. Now, if you see there is no data available here, now we have done the changes here. Now, let's click on the publish app. Now you can see it is publishing. Okay, now publish is done. Now let's go to the pipeline. We have a data flow here. Now let's try to trigger one more time. Now, now it should be like now our flow should be like first it is going to convert into uh, this derived column where all the date which is in timestamp it is going to convert into a date column and then it is going to save into the final destination that is one SQL table and another is a storage account so we will wait till this pipeline is now completed so we will wait for that now if you see in the pipeline this is the monitor window where actually you can monitor all the other pipeline which is running and we generally try to do like we try to settle this pipeline so in our real time so um, the settling parts and all also we will see later as of now the manual I am triggering it so that's why it is getting reflected now ok so it will be select here you can see there are so many options right? there is one option in debug you can do it in one cancel replace edit columns and 
one single select here in the pipeline and we also have the status like we need to see the so these are the thing actually you get to see now here it I have already saw me in this table there is no data available but data is getting copied so we will wait this pipeline to be completed and then we will see like whether it actually get it copied or not so um, we have also created a storage account for us so let's open the storage accounts Storage account with log 075 container we have created to container. You can see now that there is no data available. Once the pipeline is completed, it will show the data. We will wait it to be completed. Obviously, there are so many data available for the optimization function we will see it later. There's one more thing which I will show you. So suppose there is one more plus value here. I was so I said now I showed you only the derived column okay now where actually you can apply expression and all. But uh, there are other things also. Now if you will see if you want to apply some kind of the joining some kind of the conditional state axis condition union because these are the transformation you can apply here apart from that we have aggregated and by uh, window ranking that and pass stringify and all uh, everything is there so based on the requirement actually you can select it split a row add a row and all uh, so based on the actual requirement what is we have to select we have to apply so these are the patterns and it's going to be helpful as of now our requirement was simple that's why we have just used this kind of things now let's see now this web pipeline is still running Previously, when we ran, it took around four minutes. Okay. Now let's see at this time how much time it will take. It is four zero seven. But this time actually we are doing two things, right? We are doing we are saving it to a storage account also. So we will see how much time. Now you can see our pipeline is not successful. Now the now we are going to check the data whether the data is available or not. Okay, first we will see in this table whether the data is there or not. Before running the pipeline, I truncated it, so the data was not there. That was then again I will enter things. Now you can see the data is there. Now we will see in my story that on whether the data is there. Last time we have seen there no data. Now we have to enter that. Now you can see this other data is already available. Now I have to repeat here. Now I have to download. You can see the 